weekend, Your Highness. Welcome to the orphanage and my humble office. Thank you. If you don't mind, sir, we'll keep records of all our visitors here and the items they visited as well. I don't mind. Student of Invest of Lagos, two bags of rice, five cartons of detergent, five cartons of soap, and 500,000 naira. American press and date. I turned 27, and uh, I want to use this opportunity to thank God for the blessings He's shown me in my past 27 years on earth. And I believe that the inmates here deserve to be happy as I am. Sarada, the guest is ready to see. Okay. God, what is this? How could I be so preoccupied by the thought of a man and a total stranger? Please, I need strength, God. I took the oath of celibacy the day I married myself to your son, Jesus. There's a third time I'm passing outside your bedroom, seeing your lights on. So I decided to call my another problem. Why you can't sleep or read your book? But of course, you know your regret time is forced as you're approaching. So what is it? Why can't you sleep? I'm confused. You're confused? About what? Forget it. Your Highness, I am not just your personal guard. I'm also mandated by His Majesty, your father, to always be with you as your personal advisor and... Look, uh, I'm okay. It's too late for that lecture. Okay. Not to want the crown prince of my kingdom, whose safety and welfare is my primary responsibility. Can I neither sleep nor read his book as a student this late into the night? Come on, what is it? What is eating you? Talk to me. Oh, God, what's happening to me? My prince, please uh, put yourself together, okay? I'm trying. And I've been since we left the orphanage this afternoon. I just cannot. My prince, you need to know that the degree exam is fast approaching, commences in just two weeks, and you're here telling me that you... Come on, please, put yourself together, okay? Damn you and the exams! Here am I, trying to battle with a feeling that it's about to destroy every virtue and belief that I have been taught since childhood. And you're blabbing on about some bloody exams? I'm trying to get my sanity back! 
You're, you're beginning to scare me, Your Highness. Are you in danger? Come on, talk to me. Are you in any trouble? Oh, no, talk to me. Tell me, what is it? What is eating you this deep? I am in. I'm in love. Sounds crazy, right? I know. Everything is just crazy. I allowed myself to be a victim of love at first sight. And the object of that love. It's a Catholic nun. A reverend sister at that. <laughs> you joking, haven't you? I didn't only hopelessly fall in love with the nun at the orphanage this afternoon. I invited her to come visit me. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Your Highness, please drink this. What is it? It is holy water. Drink it. And bow down your head. Let me anoint you with this oil. You know, I'm pretty such evil thoughts. Out of your mind. Yes. You've been possessed by the devil. Drink it. in every sense but why did you insist yesterday that I should come to your house I mean what do you want from me do you want to hear it without mincing of words okay I love you sister Ivy and I'm not crazy no I'm not it's just that I have never had a strong feeling for any woman like I feel about you. And that feeling invaded me yesterday, my entire being, when I saw you at the orphanage. And even now as we speak, it's just getting stronger and stronger. It was so strong, it kept me away from my books yesterday. And every time I try to, to take thought away, it's... Do you have some such problem, Your Highness? Call me Rogers, please. And to answer your question, I have no such problem. You mean that you saw me very well yesterday and that you are seeing me very well here too? Yes. I saw an angel that captivated my heart yesterday. And I'm still seeing clearly now. And you are seeing the robe I am wearing? Yes, I do. I know where you're going. Listen, I'm also a Catholic. Or a devil in the Holy Roman Catholic Church. I feel the devil is not capable of loving. The devil is capable of lust, Rogers. This is part of destruction you are working on, and God forbid I should work it with you. Excuse me. Look, Ivy. It was said that the wind blows where it wants to blow, and no one can stop it. The Holy Spirit is like the wind. And those were the words of Pope John Paul II to the leaders of Cuba a few years ago. Now, picture this. Love is like the wind. Not you, not me, not even the oath of celibacy that you took can stop it from growing where it wants to grow. Let me pray for you. Walk in your hug and then you can pray for me afterwards. 
Your soul is Sanford Rogers. Is yours at ease? I can see it in your eyes. You are agitated. Look, Sister Ivy. Together, let's end this mutual spiritual turmoil with just a hug. May God forgive us. God, how can I be having this type of sinful encounters with him in my dream every night in the past six days? I changed my phone number blocking him from getting me on the phone and gave instruction that he should never be allowed into this orphanage again. That has effectively made it impossible for him to talk to me or even meet with me again. Poor God. I'm in love with him too. I'm a reverend sister. To know where you are. Please, not now. I'm not just your personal guard. What is bothering you? What is I it? Am... I said I am fine. Just let me be. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, Emeka. Look, I'm sorry. I, you're right. I'm in a very bad mood. And I know I ought to be on campus having fun with my friends, my graduation day and all of that, but my heart is too heavy for such. Is it still about Sister Ivy? Yes. I just cannot get the lady out of my mind. Can you not allow me to advise you on this? No. Keep your advice for now. I... I wrote this letter and I want you to go to the orphanage and give it to her personally. And until she collects it, you do not come back. Is that understood? That's what it is. to hear from me again after the way you left my house. You have done everything to make sure we don't see or talk to each other ever again. But the love I have for you for the past five weeks has flogged me with a cane, stabbed me with a dagger, shot me with a gun, and fed me with the most potent poison. Yet I have refused to die. I just graduated from the university today and will be returning to my kingdom in two days time. From 10 a.m. tomorrow, I will be in my car three blocks away from the gate of the orphanage. God, please help me in this temptation.
Hey, our sister Ivy, you requested to see me. I am in urgent need of private moment. The chapel is open. Or do you want me to come and pray with you? No thanks. I want to go and pray before the Blessed Sacrament at the Cathedral. The cathedral? Are you in some kind of trouble? God will restore my peace of mind once I go before him in prayers at Cathedral Chapel. Be it unto you according to that word. this means to me. Where are we going? Well, I want to take you somewhere very peaceful and beautiful. Wait. What are you doing? You do not expect me to fully a man like you in your couch, wherever it is you are taking me to my room. Do you? What? Ivy, you're an angel. Move the car. Yeah. This is it. What do you think about the place? It's, it's beautiful and peaceful. Yeah, and good for soul searching too. Very calm. Hey, come have some more soup. Come on. Come. What do you really want from me? Soul freedom. For you or for me? Both of us. I don't know about you, but what you have done since the day we met was to imprison my soul in a cage of guilt. Guilt? Ivy, what are you guilty about? I lied to Sister Rhoda just to be here with you. Do you know how spiritually debased such could make a known feel? Why not go, Your Highness, and allow me to fight this spiritual battle alone, Your Highness? My name is Rochas, okay? And I cannot leave you alone. I cannot do that. I try to fight love on my own, but obviously I was utterly defeated by the army of love. 
Ivy come. Let's fight love together. So we can prevail together. Or lose to love together. That's the only way we can find ourselves out of this emotional quagmire we find ourselves in. I am not doing spiritually better than you are. What applies to you applies to me. I'm not doing any better. Come, walk with me. Let's take a walk. Come on. Promise me that you will not try that again. Ivy, let's walk, please. Promise me that. Look, listen, I'm a prince. And I cannot make such promises, things that I'm not sure about. I'm a Catholic now, Your Highness. Okay, Ivy, are you going to walk with me or should I take you back to the orphanage? No. I told Sister Rhoda that I'll be spending some hours where I told her I was going to. Okay, so let me take you to that place then. You want us to work holding hands, right? I will not take the hand of an angry lady. Necessary for the survival of every single living thing. And the most important factor for natural harmony. Yet this peaceful, harmless looking thing is one weapon in nature's arsenal that not even the most powerful man-made weapon can contest its destructive force. That's the irony of water. The irony is also true about love. True love. Now, how can you and I handle what we have for each other to nourish our souls like water does when it's properly applied? than to destroy our peace, joy, and lives as water does when there is a deluge or tsunami. If I know the answer to that question, I won't be here with you. There is one thing I am very sure of here, and that is that the type of earthquake you caused in my soul since you met is such that it's going to produce a very devastating tsunami if you didn't help me now to stop it. 
That's one. I should swim with you. I have to feel mind. There's a building at the far left where we can hire swimsuits. Let's rent some. Swim. Now, where will we dry ourselves? I have a room in this hotel. So are we doing it? I'm sorry. Please stop crying. Look, I understand how you feel about the situation. How dare you lie to me that you understand how I feel, you devil. Do you know the special implication of what we just did for every sister like me? God. How have I done? Look. You have just employed one of the most precious gifts God has given to mankind. Your free will. Free will? Free will to disgrace myself at the church of God in this sinful manner. God. I feel like killing you and committing suicide here. Really? Use this. It's a handy weapon. Use it and kill me. Kill me and kill yourself. And let's face God together. I want to watch you explain to him that murder and suicide are more preferable to you than spiritual freedom and self-expression, which is exactly what happened between you and I today. Go ahead. I greet you, leaders of Alabama Kingdom. I know you'll be asking me your mind. How come a man who presided over a real cabinet meeting could be said to be normal few hours later? To be brief, 
for his royal majesty collapsed while discussing a private family matter with me. What a shocking tragedy. It is true that my elder brother, His Royal Majesty, Igwe Adiele Okeke, Anyangwo the Seventh of Abama Kingdom, is no more. And how difficult it is for you. But you need to be strong. Thank you. Your Highness. 
Dad, how could you do this? How could you? I just graduated. And I was on my way back to tell you. <laughs> Instead of you, be hugging me. Congratulating me on my success. Look at me. <laughs> Drenching your noble body. Tears of grief. Oh, Daddy. <laughs> God. <laughs> well, now I'm back. And I'm going to take over. Just as you wish. It is the tradition of our people. I pray you be with me. And guide me. And I promise you that I will make this kingdom greater than it was during your reign. I need your protection. I still can't believe that this <laughs> I swear to you. I swear to you today. That I'll be the best that I can be. I have a letter for you. You've been redeployed to try this back your home city. Why so sudden? I asked for it. You did? I would like you to pray for me later today. Sure, I will, I will. Once I come back from the bishop's office, I'll, I'll pray with you, okay? Elders of Abama Kingdom, I want to thank you all, and especially the good people of this kingdom, for your immense support to my family since my father left us last week to answer the call of his ancestors. As the crown prince of this kingdom, I know what it takes. And I totally know what is expected of me with regards to the empty throne. I know that even as a crown prince, there are strict rules and regulations with regards to ascending the throne. And that is why I've called for this meeting that the gray hairs of this kingdom can properly brief me on the succession process. Mm. 
Hello. Uh, the, the, this question is for the council. And as the traditional prime minister, you speak. Your Highness. Words were what your noble mouth produced. Wisdom was what we heard. It is the wise that admit ignorance of a subject matter before men of lesser status to him. Who are we not to do what the next animal of Abama Kingdom wants? May you live long. And you too. Now to your request. No one can mount this throne without your father being committed to the Mother Earth. Not even you can do that even after his burial without being fully married. Bearing that in mind, the elders here mandated me to ask you have you any maiden in your mind at the moment your highness can my father be buried without me getting married first Of course, yes, he could. Right. Then let's start the burial arrangements immediately. All right. What about your marriage? Uh, they asking if if marriage choice. Uncle, I know what was asked. I heard them. My father's funeral and my marriage are two different events sad and happy respectively and I feel that they should not be discussed together. Having said that, Uncle, I'm putting you in charge, you and Ono, in charge of the burial arrangements. Please get back to me every step of the way. Mm. As your highness pleases. This meeting is over. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is anything the matter? Yes. Your sudden return from Nigeria. I made calls to our parish priest and our bishop earlier today. And both denied having any power information that you were coming back. What is going on? Oh, there is nothing that the Archdiocese of Lagos didn't it fit to post me back to my home diocese here in South Africa. That's all. And they did so without communicating with the diocese and leadership down here. IV, you have been wearing a hard expression since you came back earlier. When we walked in here a while ago, we met you sitting down and brooding instead of sleeping. You are someone who should be having a jet lag. And it is past 11 p.m. Tell us, what happened in Nigeria? Are you in trouble? No, I, I, I was just missing the kids at the orphanage. There is nothing serious. Okay. I will make a few calls in the morning and have you posted back to that orphanage please. immediately. Don't, Dad. Please, I, I, I am done there. I, I want a new challenge here. That is what I came back for. 
In fact, I was basing the requested for my redeployment. Yes, I did. Ivy, I am a well-respected man in Catholic Church in this country and the whole of Johannesburg. And I do not need to remind you of how much I value my reputation. There's nothing, absolutely nothing that I cannot do to protect it. Same goes for your brother Nelson. If there's something that is going on, that is capable of bringing this family's name to disrepute, you better tell us. Don't hide it from us. Or, let's go, son. Dad, Nelson, please. There is, there is... What have I got myself into, eh? Eyes, restless mind, and now, press from my family. God, please save me.